This will be a short demonstration of our VPS server remote control panel. On the screen you see the interface for the login. So let's say you got your VPS server, you have your IP address and your password. You'll be entering your IP here and the password you got for your root account. And just to mention that when you change the password on your VPS, it reflects automatically to this authentication form. So when we click login, on the left side, you have the navigation of all the options that, that are provided by the VPS server remote control panel. You have here basic information about your VPS, disk space usage, RAM memory usage and uptime. You can reboot your VPS by yourself at any time. Just simply clicking request and VPS should automatically reboot itself. As it says here, VPS restarted successfully. You can change the hostname of your VPS. You can set up a VPS monitoring. Now, VPS monitoring is a tool that we developed where you can specify the automatic monitoring of particular sections. For example, you can click memory monitor, which will monitor the memory usage on your VPS. For example, if your VPS gets stuck with memory, you can specify the action to notify you or to reboot the server and to notify you. You have web server monitoring which monitors the, if the server is up and reachable or down and we are talking only about a web server running on port 80. You can also specify notify only or restart and notify. If you for example, specify restart, you will be asked for the restart command line, which is basically a shell script that you wrote to restart the web server and maybe MySQL server if it's needed to ensure that it's running. And you can also monitor the load time, how much it takes for the server to send you back the information when it's requested and we are referring here to the web server and you can also monitor if the mail server is up. So you have all these tools to ensure that your VPS is running properly. Now as for the notification you have email or SMS notification. If you specify your, your cell phone number here you will also receive the, no the notification via SMS when something happens to your VPS. For example, if you ran out of memory, your VPS will be restarted if you specified the reboot plus notify me option. And you will also get the short summary report on your email. It's a very useful tool. You can also submit support tickets directly through this control panel. You can set up an FTP backup account you will get 10 gigabytes of backup space to send all the files that you need and SQL dumps or your web files or whatever you want to be backed up. You also have here memory burst option where you can test different memory options of your VPS. For example, if you're currently on an advanced VPS but you are thinking of trying to move to 4 gigabyte VPS server, you can specify the amount and burst your memory to that amount and test your VPS for two days and if you want to buy it, you can just contact our support to add the RAM memory to your VPS server. And 
And finally, you have reverse DNS setup where you can specify the reverse host names for all the IP addresses that are assigned to your VPS server. We are developing new options each day. We are looking into enhancing this control panel so you can be expect expecting new and useful options on this control panel. Thank you very much for watching this video.